Good evening. I'm at I Green. Uh, just on that arrangement. What time is it? It's 17.38. I were up here for about three o'clock, four or five. So that's two and a half hours. That's not bad, is it? Two and a half hours on one arrangement, just over. Uh, that's the thing. With this part of it, there's no set timings. It's difficult because obviously I'm going to do another arrangement now. I'm going to Ridgeway Drive. Uh, so it, you've got to be a bit flexical. Flexical? Flexible. I've just been arranging a funeral for a lady at High Green and uh, everything's got to be perfect. And I mean everything. And that's why it's important to take your time, make sure you've got all the information, make sure that you've fulfilled all family's wishes, what they want. Because we get one chance, one occasion, that it's got to be perfect. Absolutely perfect. Uh, for that person. I've, uh, I've, I'm on Thompson Hill. It's going dark, so I'll have got a red face soon. Because when traffic light, brake lights come on, you think, oh, red face. Hang on a minute. If I put that little box on on top, which is like a, another thing, that's it. Oh, now I'm nice and bright at the minute. So, Tuesday. Been a right manically busy day today. I've been all over the place. It's Barnsley just down there where I were yesterday. I love reading your comments. I love seeing what you've put. Have you noticed I don't get many trolls on YouTube? Am I speaking too soon here? Crazy, isn't it? I don't get many trolls on. That's mad. Maybe they ought to call it Troll Book instead of Facebook. So, anyway, I'm going to drop down through Chap, Chapel Town, that is. Because there's a bloke who works at crematorium. Uh, he who must not be named Stephen Shepherd. Uh, and he calls it Chap. Because he lives here. He, they've got a church thing at the bottom. Very nice Stephen. Really is. He's an R8 type of guy. Uh, he's a man's man if you know what I mean. Uh, he's R8. I like him. I like them all actually at crematorium. Uh, at Granicide, the lovely Lauren at Granicide Crematorium. She's a bloody diamond. Uh, she'll do anything to help you. She really, really will. Uh, City Road is a few miseries there. Pete's a right miserable sod. Sergeant Bleeding Major. Thinks he's in army. He used to be in army years ago. But he's not now. Still thinks he is. He's retiring anyway. Uh, and then there is Joe. Joe's an absolute. See, see how I'm white then. Uh, flashing lights. Joe's an absolute bloody diamond. She really is. She's very hopeful, Joe. She's lovely. Uh, Alison. Alison goes missing all the time. She goes walking into the back and doing other things when she shouldn't do. Which arses me off, but she's alright. Lass has got an art of gold. Uh, this Claire. Hey up, love. Alright, darling. Everybody's loving darling with Claire. Uh, Mick, who used to work at Granicide, he's a nice kid. He's smart. And then I've got Mick Kerrigan. 
Oh, Kathy. Kathy's a bleed. Kathy's old school. She's probably. She's lovely, Kathy. Uh, she's one of the nicest people you could meet. She genuinely is a nice woman. Uh, then you got Mick Kerrigan, and he's his boss. Uh, so they're all lovely. They're all absolute and utter diamonds. I don't know the names too much. I only know Lauren uh, at Granite Side, and it's easy to remember Lauren because I've got a Lauren, so it's easy to remember that name. I don't know the rest of them. But they're, they're all nice. They're all lovely. I'm off now up to Ridgeway Drive, as I've said. Uh, and it's quite a, a distance for us, this arrangement. But they're going from here, this family, and the, this lady who we've just done an arrangement for, her wish, what she wanted, or to go to St. Marie's, the cathedral in town, Catholic cathedral, and then a service up at Graniside. So, uh, and it's not just a committal, it could be another service. So the, the main part is what this person wanted was to go into church, because that's what her family's always done, because you're a Catholic. And then, obviously, family wanted it to be personal about the lady, the mum, the nan. So that's why they're going to have a proper service uh, with a speaker, a celebrant, taking that. Up again, so I right, I'm at Chapel Town Station. Uh, God knows why you watch these with me, I ain't got a bloody clue. Uh, but I'm glad you do, I genuinely am. So logistically, this is a nightmare to arrange this funeral. Not so much a nightmare, but you've got to first of all book the church, obviously. And they're alluring to the sense Catholics. They think that it's all about them Catholic priests. Uh, so we'll get a time off at priest in church. Then we need to look at the crematorium, getting a time that we can coincide getting from the cathedral to the crematorium, which is about six mile or so away, maybe seven mile away, whatever it is. And then we need to get a speaker, Lisa Scott, up to crematorium for that time, because the priest will have done his bit in church. We've then got to get catering. So catering in tea rooms for 60, that has to be arranged. And all them things have to coincide at one time. Uh, into church, 10 o'clock, let's say 11.30, cremation, uh, service starts, 12 o'clock tea rooms, where then family can get together and have IT. So it's getting everything booked in. That's what funeral directors do. Basically, you're a conductor, you're like in a, a, a band. Only bands, orchestra, where you're tapping a stick, keeping them all in check. So that's what funeral directors do. Uh, and I love it. I absolutely love it. So it's Tuesday, and before it goes too dark, I'm gonna say good night to everybody. Thanks for your help, thanks for your support. Because it helps me with my mental health, putting these on. Genuinely does. Seeing that you've shared it and it growing that people, more people subscribing, interaction with it. Has anybody tried Barker's Elixir of Life? Has anybody tried it? I know it gets rid of warts and spots and it's good for hair loss, it's good for a sore throat. I know it does all sorts, but somebody's told me it's good for sciatica and I need to know if it is, I'm going to get it. If you want a funeral director up here, 
There is these. The, oh, it's not going right around. There's another one. Low cost funerals. Uh, and they're uh, Johnson Lane and the Common at Ecclesfield. Uh, they're brilliant. They are absolutely brilliant. Low cost funerals. Give them a try. Uh, Eric Ayres, he's fantastic up this end. He's a proper undertaker, Eric. Rest of them up here. They'll have your pants down. Seriously. It's all about money. This has gone in with little butchers this last time I come up. What's this now? Workway. Revoc. I have to call him there, will you know? See, I've gone back to that red face now with him in front holding his foot on brakes. That's it, I'm back. Right, I'm going everybody. I will upload this some point tonight when I get in. Uh, or while I'm out on my travels. But if you need help, give me a call. Well, don't give me a call. Leave me a message. Uh, don't give me a call for fuck's sake. What did I say that far? Uh, if, you, if you've enjoyed what I posted, leave me a message. Press subscribe. For God's sake, press subscribe and hit me bell. Uh, said the actress to the vicar. Because I've got a bell on this as well. Take care, everybody. Catch you all later.